25 shots and two free throws. We got we 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 haven't shot the ball well from three, but normally when that happens, we can still manage to keep it competitive by getting to the free throw line, and that wasn't the case tonight. Yeah. Scott, uh, Tatum's a great player, um, obviously, and he, he got it going. And I know Rui getting in foul trouble didn't help you there. Um, how difficult is it to single him up and not bring doubles knowing that that opens, up for, opens them up for threes? Yeah, I mean, that's the that's, uh, pick your poison. I thought yeah. he was making some tough shots. Uh, we put him on the free throw line. I mean, he almost shot more free throws than us. Uh, it's too many, it's too many. Rui got some, you know, some tough calls against him, you know, quick ones, and so he didn't get in, he didn't get into a rhythm either, on the offensively or defensively. And we tried a few different things. We tried to trap him. They swung it around for wide open threes, and they knocked him in. So he he's a he's a great player. He's not a great young player. He's a great player. He's going to be an MVP in this league soon. Fred. Hey, Scott. Um, what did you think of the looks you guys were three for 21 from three? What did you think of the looks you guys I were? Mean, I mean, I don't know if, I mean, obviously I'll look at the film after the game, but, you know, watching it, I thought it was, there, there were some really, really good ones early. Uh, I thought all of our shooters had a good look to start, to start their, you know, offensive game. Um, and they didn't make it. So, but they 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 bounced back. We bounced back. We we worked our butts off to be in this position to have a to have a um, a home court to get get ourselves into the playoffs. And looking forward to it. We're looking forward to. Well, I know Indiana played well tonight, and they've been playing well. Um, but it's a great opportunity for us to go back to our home court and and reboot and play much better. We're going to have to shoot the ball better. We're not, I don't think we're going to have another bad shooting night. I thought the, I thought the looks were pretty good. I know mean, there were some of them late, probably weren't as good, but at that point we were scrambling just to try to generate some threes. And is Russell, I noticed Russell was wearing a sleeve tonight. Is he, is he dealing with anything on that front? No, not that I know of. I mean, if he is, he wouldn't tell me. Definitely won't tell you guys, uh, but I don't. I don't. I don't think so. I mean, not anything different than anybody. You know, we played a, a lot of games. And everybody has, you know, aches and pains, but nothing, nothing serious. Matt Paris. Hey Scott, just how much of a problem what was the foul trouble to, of what you guys wanted to do defensively and. Yeah, it was, it was, um, it was huge. I mean, it, it, it didn't cost us the game. I mean, we did foul them. It was 10 to two in the second quarter. I think it was 10 to six or 10 to five in the third quarter. Fouls, too many, too many. Put them on the line and gave them easy opportunity. We want to play with pace. They don't want to play as fast. And you get them, when you foul, slows the game up. They're able to regroup and get their breath, and we didn't, we didn't, we didn't do a good job. They outplayed us. Let's face it, we had a bad game. There's no question. We haven't had one of these in a long time. I think the last one was at Phoenix. That's almost two months ago. So we'll regroup. We got a lot of confidence. Our guys are going to bounce back. Uh, that's one I love about this group. We got the, that bounce back ability is pretty good. Why do you think you guys had your like worst game and probably the biggest game of the year? Um, I don't know. I mean, no one, nobody, good thing about it, nobody tried to play bad. We didn't play well. We didn't play well. We had a, we struggled scoring the ball from the start. I thought our defense was pretty good in that first quarter. And, and I, I thought we, we, we missed a lot of easy threes and easy like layups, opportunities, baskets are around the, Shots are around the paint. Uh, I thought we played much better than the 21 points, and I thought we bounced back in that second quarter. And then the end of the second quarter, they we put them on the line too many times, and and 
And then the third quarter, we just could not make shots to keep up with their shot making. Thank you, Scott. Candace. <laughs> Sorry, I'm slow with this. Um, I, it obviously, it's been a um, um, Davis hasn't had a game like this for a while, just like you guys haven't had a game like this for a while. Um, but when he is off like this, is there something else that he can do besides float around the arc just to get himself into a rhythm? Yeah, I mean, he's he's that's what he does. He's, he's a great three point shooter that had a bad, bad game shooting wise, but. I thought they did a good job of being real physical. When you, when you can be physical without fouling, it takes it takes our knocks our balance off offensively, and we have to do a better job of being able to handle that. And our setups have to be better. Our screens have to be better because when you get knocked off balance and you don't have control of our offense uh, with good precision and timing, it's, it's tough. But I, he, he'll bounce back. He's not he's not an old for seven. Uh, you know, 0 for 7 three point shooter. I mean, there's times that he probably could have had some cuts. And uh, I thought Ish tried to find, or Howell tried to find him one time, but he was going away, wasn't looking. So, like I said, it's uh, we fought for this opportunity to have our home court and can't wait to play in front of our fans and, and play much better. Zach Kuma. Hey, Coach, uh, you talked about Rui being in foul trouble early on some quick whistles, but what can he personally learn from this experience? Well, this is, um, yeah, I don't know, this is the first time you know, he's been in the playoffs. It's a nether level. I know it's a play-in game, but it's still the playoffs. We're fighting for our lives, and we want to get in. We want to get into a, a, a seven-game series, and the level of intensity comes up. you got to be you got to be ready for it. So uh, he's not the he's not the the only player in the league that's had a, a, a tough start to their first uh, action after a regular season. He will bounce back. He will bounce back. Uh, but I thought I thought actually he had a nice rhythm when he came back in, and then he got another another tough break on a, on a whistle. But and then the and then the fourth one. Uh, that the guy was falling and tripping and he just happened to be right in that spot and that took him out. But it's, it's, it's a learning experience for him, but I, I, I know he'll bounce back. All right. Last question to Fred. Hey, Scott. Uh, I was just curious when, when Rui's in foul trouble or when Rui's in foul trouble and you don't really have necessarily a big wing, you can put on Tatum in those moments. And, and he's really hot. Do you consider doubling? And and what goes into the uh, the decision process not to do it as often? Well, we 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 tried a few times with our bigs, and we tried a few times with our perimeters. They they capitalized with good. They, one thing I, I thought. I mean, it's really really dissected. I thought Tristan really was a big factor in the win. That guy he, he played a man's game. His screen setting and his ability to set screens and to roll and to the right spots and make a make a decision after that roll, I thought was high level. And so when we try to when we try to put extra heat on Tatum, Tatum's a six eight. He can pass over a lot of defenders, and I thought he did that. But I thought Tatum was, I mean, um, Tristan was able to catch and make the next play. He's like a you know, that's what we call that, you know, that chase starts to happen. And we were chasing and he was making the right plays. But that's that's neither here nor there now. They outplayed us. They played a good game. Give them credit. They get to move on to to Brooklyn. And they're obviously going to have a tough series there. But we have a chance to to get to Philadelphia. But we got to take care of business on our home court. But that's what we that's what we worked our you know, our tails off to get in this position. Um, I, obviously, you're not a 0 for 7 three point shooter. Your coach has already said that. I'm sure you you know that you're not you're not that type of player. But what what led to tonight's uh, result? Uh, I think first half we we did a solid job on uh, on defensive end. Uh, you know, we didn't give them the opportunities they wanted. Uh, in ISO situations, uh, I think we rebounded okay. And then we came to the second half. Uh, they made the run, 
uh, you know, and, and as soon as they made the run, like we basically didn't recover from that, couldn't get back in the game. And specifically for your night, Davis, um, how, how do you explain, you know, what happened with you with your shooting? Oh, I guess as every shooter, there's some cold nights. We wanted that. Neil. Hey, Davis, was there anything that Boston was doing in particularly that, you know, might have helped that? Or, you know, you said before that, you know, sometimes they just don't take your, their eyes off of you. Was that kind of one of the things? Uh, you know, they, they, they were there. Like some of the shots that uh, I took, most of them were shots that I like, but, you know, I didn't really get those. Except for the first one, like wide, wide open ones, uh, they get like somewhat contest on each one of them. You know, they, in that sense, they, they did a good job, but uh, that definitely, those, those contests, definitely not the, the thing that would usually bother me. So, as I said, I think it's more, more of a cold night than, than anything else. Rafael. Hey, Davis, Rafael Haynes with the three point conversion. After the results, is this, do you all have the mentality of, all right, game's uh, over? Let's not focus on the past. Let's focus on Indiana now. Uh, definitely, yeah. That was that's the first thing that Brad's having walked in the locker room. You know, keep your heads up. Uh, he fought hard to get that eight spot to give us a better opportunity. You know, even if we lose the first game, we get another chance. And, uh, you know, basically, we're focused on the next game already. Right. Hey, Davis, uh, speaking of Indiana, you, you guys were 3-0 against them in the regular season. Uh, what, is that something that you guys think about? Do you, you go back and analyze what you did well against them and, and see if you can kind of apply that to a different sort of thing? Well, I guess that works both ways. Uh, we played them three times basically in the last, in the last month. And uh, you know, even though we won the games, so, Sometimes very hard to be the same team multiple times in a row, and uh, we just have the have the the mentality like this is it, like you know, it's a game, basically game seven of, of any series. And uh, uh, yeah, and uh, I don't know who they're gonna have. You know, they had some players out the games that we played against them. Uh, we have a chance to look at them tomorrow, scouting everything, and, um, and see who's gonna play. Uh, look who played in the last game, and uh, you know. I don't know if they're going to be the same team that we played. You know, they have some guys out now. They had some guys out before, but uh, yeah, you got to focus on that. All right, last question, Leaf. Hey, Davis, I'm just curious, you know, after a night like this and you have such a quick turnaround um, for Indiana, what do you do as, as a shooter to sort of get yourself back in rhythm, but also try and trying to stay even kill and not let the moment get to you? Well, the only thing I could do is shoot the ball. You know, you can, I think you can ask any shooter around the league and uh, around the world, shooter shoot. And, uh, and that's the only way you can get back in rhythm. So, you know, we're going to get some shots up on a game day in the morning probably and uh, get, in, get to the game. That's it. Russ, you guys have been really good at um, kind of getting out of tough situations this year, especially late in the game. What felt different after that run that at Tatum and Kemba had uh, in the third quarter? Uh, we just didn't do what we supposed to do, give them easy baskets. Uh, you know, they had to work for none of it. Kind of gave them open threes after open three. Fred. Hey, Russell, uh, offensively, you guys were three for 21. Uh, what were your guys' issues? Did, did you like the looks that you guys were able to get there? Three for 21 where? Oh, sorry, from three. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I guess we just missed him tonight. Yeah. Should happen. DA. Russ, uh, was there anything physical with you tonight? I mean, they, they showed you going back to the locker room early. I don't know if that was anything, so just had to ask. Yeah, I mean, you know, a lot of nicks and bruises, but it'd be all right. Be and, all right. Oh, and with um, 
with Tatum. I know it's a pick your poison. Yeah. It's just hard to, I know you don't want to double him because that opens up threes, but how difficult is it to turn his water off if he's single covered all the time? I mean, it just really depends on who's guarding him. Uh, you know, if you let him get some easy ones, you know, he's a scorer, so you let him get some easy ones and the, the basket starts to look like um, the ocean for him and he's getting to the line. I mean, they, you know, he's got 18, some free, I think 18, 19 free throws, whatever, whatever. Uh, so it really just depends on how the game is going. We didn't do a good job of starting off early um, initially to making it tough for him. Christos. Hey, Russ, what you what do you need to improve to the game against the Pacers from tonight's game? And how important is to approach that as the biggest game of the season for your team? Uh, it's another game, different game. Um, this game really don't matter at this point. What would you like to change from tonight's game about the game against the Pacers? And how important for you personally is to bring your best basketball as on uh, Thursday's game? Uh, first, I want to praise my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Um, uh, there's a lot. We, we, we could have done, done a lot, a lot of things better tonight. Uh, I mean, we, we didn't, I don't think we played our style of basketball, uh, at all tonight. And, uh, you know, we got to realize that this is the playoffs. You know, everybody has to up their level of play. Um, you know, you understand that every play is important. Every play is sense of urgency. You know, we would kind of let a team who was beat up down low, you know, kind of beat us on the boards, got a lot of offensive rebounds, beat us to 50-50 balls. You know, I think they really hurt us tonight. And uh, and then we just we just couldn't guard. So we just got to be better. You know, granted, granted, you know, my head isn't down. I don't think I, I told the guys the same thing. Like, this is where we want it to be. Uh, you know, give ourselves an opportunity, you know, to get to seven if that was the case. And if not, you know, on the back end, we still get another opportunity at home. So, you know, uh, our heads up and we get ready for, for Indiana on Thursday. Ava. Brad, I know you obviously aren't using this as an excuse or anything, but it looked like you were wearing a, a compression sleeve or something on your left leg. How was the hamstring feeling? Uh, as good as it's going to get. Uh, I mean, call me one leg bandit for, if you want. Uh, but for me, it's, you know, just going out and showing my team that, you know, I'm out here with you, you know. Um, I'm going to try to be as impactful as I possibly can. I think I had like four, honestly, four compression sleeves on. Um, but, you know, it's just a matter of doing whatever it takes to be out there. So, you know, I'm going to try to try to help these guys as best as I can and obviously be smart with it. And, uh, try not to over-exaggerate myself in, in certain instances, but, you know, it, it is playoff basketball at the highest level. So it is what it is. And just like on Sunday, you, it looked like you got into a little bit more of a rhythm in the second half. Is that when it feels like your leg can move up and you get a little bit more mobility or is that you figuring stuff out in, in terms of getting to the basket? Yeah, it was a little bit of both. You know, it's obviously, you know, you, you, you trust in it more and it loosens up as, you know, as the game goes on. And, um, you know, at the same time, I'm unaware of how teams are going to guard me, you know, and so I kind of, you know, use the first quarter, first half as a way of, you know, kind of gauging that and, you know, how aggressive I can be and what shots will will and won't be there. Um, you know, and I try to try to manipulate it, you know, that way now. You know, I have kind of have to adjust just my way of playing now, um, which is, you know, which is a challenge, but, you know, I've been figuring it out. Fred? Brad, you mentioned adjusting your way of playing. It, it looked like you had a different approach from the start. You weren't quite as aggressive looking for your own looks in the first quarter today as you were against Charlotte. How how did that go for you? How did you feel like you executed on 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 trying to put that forth? Uh, I think I, I was solid. You know, uh, it just kept me engaged in the game. Uh, you know, got some got some good looks from my teammates. Got a lob to Gafford, I think, and. Uh, start rebounding the ball a little bit more tonight. So I was just trying to get like get a, a better rhythm than just coming out coming out the gate and scoring. Uh, you know, obviously, and it's funny uh, the guys are saying this on another team. Like I'm not, I can't be as explosive as I want to. You know, I can't come out there pick and roll and fly by the big like I usually do. Um, you know, so I just gotta do what works 
do what works for me, you know. And so, you know, I try to manipulate that. I know teams are going to blitz me. Uh, I know I'm still a threat out here, regardless of what percentage I'm at, you know. So I use it to my advantage, and, you know, I create stuff for my teammates. If we get good shots, that's all I care about. And you guys as a team were three for 21 from three today. Did you, yeah. what did you think of the looks that you were able to actually get? I think we could have got some better ones. You know, I think we could have got some more open ones. And, uh, you know, in terms of us guards, we got to set up our guys better. And, you know, bigs got to get us open. Um, but, you know, we, we got to be better, you know, penetrating, getting, getting in the lane, getting some, getting our shooters easy ones. Um, you know, I think a lot of them, we, we had some contested ones. And I, I even looked up at one point, I think we only shot 11, and they shot like 32 threes. So, you know, that's, that was crazy in itself. You know, I think it's, it's a crazy analytic thing. Like, if you, the more you shoot, the more you make. So, uh, you know, but I think we could have got some better ones. Obviously, we're upset with the free throw count. We feel like that could have been a lot better. Uh, you know, we, we attack with, you know, we're probably one of the strongest attacking teams in the league. Um, you know, especially getting downhill. So we don't like that, but, you know, obviously, you know, we, we could have been a lot better in, at finishing and, and playing through contact, but control what you can control. Yeah. Brad, you know, you know, Jason better than anybody, I'm sure in terms of this game and you've seen him play great. Where does that rank in terms of how well you've seen him play? That oh, was great. It's probably it's probably right at right at the top, uh, just in terms of his aggressiveness and uh, and just how locked in he was. You know, he was really he was excited about the game. He was he was up, and uh, you know it didn't matter who was in front of him. You know, and that's been something that I've been trying to tell his ass for years. Uh, but you know, I'm, I'm definitely it's tough when you're guarding him. I mean, he's six nine, and you know he can get his shot off. He's strong. Um, and he can shoot the ball. He's a three-level scorer. So you got to respect everything he could do on the floor. And just trying to make it difficult, be physical with him. Like you said, I, I know a lot of his moves. So a lot of it, I was there. But, you know, I, I'm not. I'm only 6'3". So uh, I wish I was 6'9 with ro robotic arms. But, you know, he he's a special talent, man. Uh, you know, I've been saying this since he was in diapers. So uh, it doesn't surprise me. But I would say, D.A., this ranks at the top. Yeah. Yeah. And late in the game, uh, they showed during a timeout, Ish was was being very demonstrative. And I just wonder if you can summarize what he was trying to get across to everybody. I didn't I didn't see that. I, I probably missed that one, yeah. Uh, and I'm sure he's he's probably one. I mean, it's it probably comes from a good place. Ish is a great guy. Uh, mm -hmm. He wants us to win, and we probably we might have messed up a defensive coverage or whatever. But I don't. I, I can't speak on. I don't remember it. Okay. Matt Paris. Hey, Brad. You've been in a lot of big games. Russ has been in a lot of big games. That was kind of Rui's first taste at big games. He got into foul trouble, obviously. What can he do just going into uh, against Indiana to, to kind of rebound from this and, and kind of that mindset that you have to have in, in a big game? Hmm. Well, I mean, for a lot of our guys, you know, I don't, I probably can go down and listen, probably count on one hand of how many guys have actually been in the playoffs. Um, you know, so in that regard, it's, it's very new and fresh for a lot of our guys. And, and it's, it's a matter of us as leaders just kind of relaying that message of how important every possession is and how important, uh, you know, this, this, these games are. You know, everybody's play is lifted to a new level, you know, and that's just automatic. So uh, the amount of attention to detail there needs to be, um, especially when it comes to actually being in the playoffs where you got – guarantee four games against a team like teams are going to start knowing what you can do what plays you're going to run they're going to start telling you what you should be doing so it's uh it's a matter of just going out there and who wants it the most and understanding that you know the x's and o's aren't going to get it done it's a matter of will and heart right. so we're going to be fine this is his first first go round. uh you know just stay engaged stay aggressive as he has been and a little unfair for him tonight but it's a learning experience Right. And you guys, even when Rui's not in foul trouble, you guys run a lot of smaller lineups. How can, um, like, defensively, just is there anything that you guys can do more, like, even when you're kind of undersized and you're not always maybe in the best positions just because that's the way your roster is, you know, that, that sort of thing. What can you guys do defensively when the, there's a size disadvantage on the floor? 
Still, we can still guard. That doesn't change. I mean, that doesn't, you know, uh, regardless of who's out there, I mean, it's like it's going to play pickup. You know, you're going to complain about who you're playing against or you're just going to go hoop. You know, you got to hoop regardless of who's on the floor, regardless of what size you got. Uh, you know, regardless of what lineups we have, you know, we we trust in ourselves and, and our our versatility of, of a lot of guys that we have. We switch one through four a lot of the time. So, you know, we trust guys to be able to guard multiple positions. Uh, and, you know, it's a matter of us helping each other too and being better at that. And we didn't, I think we did a bad job of that tonight. But obviously moving forward, we understand that, you know, we got to, defense is what's going to win us these games. You know, it's not a matter of scoring points, outscoring teams. That's not going to do it. You got to be able to get stops. Thank you. Yeah. Last question, Ava. Uh, you talked about uh, the confidence going into Thursday's game. You've obviously had a ton of success against the Pacers this year. Um, you just talked about defense, but you guys have really leaned into your offensive strengths against them. What What's the, I guess, confidence level head, heading into that? Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm confident. You know, I'm sure my teammates are too, but, you know, we, we got to go do it. We can't talk about it. You know, we can't sit here and say we, we like our matchup, none of that. Like, we got to go out there and compete and, and, and go win the game. You know, Indiana's playing well. They don't have one of their players. They don't have Karras, you know, and, and they're still going out and competing. And, you know, they they they, they win at Charlotte tonight. So you got to understand every every team is going to – every team wants it, you know. Uh, you know, so Indy's looking at us hungry. So we, we got to be ready to go. and. Uh, you know, understand that this is definitely this is when to go home now. So this is this is exciting. This is what we want to play for.